I uh, I watched the game last night again, but I only watched the lines and Frank Smith, uh, Butch Berry, um, Mike McDaniel. God bless you guys, man. God bless you guys. That was magnificent the way the play of the line was structured, the way they kept pass rushers off balance, the way it was designed. Kudos to Tua to Tunga Vailoa because his balls don't fit in any stadium in the NFL. Um, what I watched last night was a freaking clinic, okay? First of all, Austin Jackson did an excellent job. Uh, Austin Jackson basically won almost every uh, every pass rush uh, against Boza. Maybe one or two that he was maybe lost a little bit, but not to the point where, you know, it was hurting the quarterback or anything like that. But they did a magnificent job of play calling on that line because there was chip blocking. There was help from Hunt at times. There, w- there was many times where Austin was alone with Boza. There was a couple times, and it was all designed, where they left Boza alone to rush to just untouched rush. Happened a couple times, but they were designed, and it's designed where Tua has to get rid of the ball right away. And Tua has the guts of a burglar, bro. There's one of those plays where you can see it's designed where Austin goes inside. They leave Boza because he has to be the the, the guy left open. And Tua throws right into his face for the completion. I mean, magnificent. Kendall Lamb also did an excellent job on the left side taking care of 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 Mac and a couple times with Boza they did switch him up not much they don't do it a lot but there were a couple times where Mac was on one on on the other side and Boza you know switched over that did happen a couple times but the the offensive line play the pass protection my lord that was that was beautiful dude that was it was a masterpiece what they did yesterday. And just kudos to the entire staff. Kudos to all the players. And you know what? Kendall Lamb and Austin Jackson, especially Austin Jackson. Look, I'm happy for Kendall because he's bounced around the league for a long time. And maybe he found, you know, his groove and his calling. And maybe, you know, but Austin Jackson, as you all know, he's been through hell. We've all put him through hell, and he he had secondary blocks too, where you look at the tape, he would then have to go to the second level to go find people, and he did it, man. There's one play where it's a key third down, and he's he's downfield making a, a, a really important block on a on a on a on a crossing route. And, you know, there was just everything about it. It was just like, it was clean. I was so impressed. Isaiah Wynn did a good job, too. It, the, really, it's just a couple snaps. That's really what it was. But I was so impressed watching those guys play. And... You know, un- until further notice, do not hurry to Ron Armstead back. Get get the big man as healthy as possible. And let me tell you something. How about some of those moments when you're in the goal line? In you know, in the next couple of weeks, the next couple of months, and and Tehran gets healthy, and you want to go for short yardage. Brother, you just bring Kendall Lamb out also and line him up next to Teron Armstead and just power through and have some fun. You know what I'm saying? 
Uh, it, it's just, it was a pleasure to watch the O-line play yesterday. I, I don't know how many times I've been able to say that. You know what I mean? Because I didn't, I, I, I just, I didn't have time on, on Monday uh, to do it. And, uh, and so yesterday, I know yesterday I went to go see, um, uh, what's that called? Uh, the, the Denzel Washington movie, the number three, um, not executioner, not Excalibur. What's a, what's a, what's, 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 what's the name of the damn thing, man? Equalizer. Equalizer. There we go. Equalizer three. And so, uh, went, went, uh, saw it during the day. And then when I got back, I was uh, watching the Marlins, depressing, and then I wanted to I wanted to watch the uh, the play of the uh, Dolphins, and that was just that was fun to watch. It's fun to watch. It, it's like I didn't, you know, the offensive plays were obviously a blast to watch, but it was one of those where I I, I it wasn't about the offensive plays that I was getting excited about. It was the offense because you and I know that. If they dominate and win at the line of scrimmage, everything else is going to fall into place for Miami. And you and I know that the Miami Dolphins have not won up front on offense in forever. And if they can get, to, you know, they've won on defense over the years, but not on offense. But if you can actually pull it off on both ends, man. That was a lot of fun to watch. Really enjoyed it. This is the Big O Show. This is the Big O Show.